Now onto the 2021 outlook for the automotive industry. Michael Harley, an expert, is stopping by. And Michael, what are the latest trends you're seeing in the auto industry for 2021? We are seeing consumers still flocking to trucks, SUVs, and crossovers. Uh, they don't, they can't seem to get enough of these things. Uh, they want technology, they want styling, and they want a car that's comfortable and is literally connected to their mobile phones. How has COVID-19 affected the auto industry? Oh, it affected it in a very, very big way, especially uh, when March, when the whole COVID thing hit, we had production delays, we had shipment delays, we had inventory issues, and April was probably one of the worst months in recent years as far as the auto industry is concerned. But thankfully, things have come around pretty well. You know, uh, dealers have, uh, first of all, we have inventory back now, we have manufacturing back, and dealers have changed their business model, a lot more personalized. It's a one-on-one -on -one with the customers now. You can make appointments. And uh, so what we're seeing now is October sales were nearly pre-pandemic levels, which is a great sign. What do consumers consider with affordability and all those high-tech gadgets? Well, the good news is uh, in the old days, the design and affordability were very mutually exclusive terms. Uh, you either paid a ton of money to get design or you paid no money and you got a box. And what we're seeing now is automakers like Hyundai offering a lot of design, a lot of really, really cool, fascinating, faceted vehicles uh, at very, very attractive uh, entry prices. So what we're getting is consumers now can demand a lot more for their money, which is really, really nice. Head over to HyundaiUSA.com. You could build the cars, configure them, pick out your favorite color, and even reach out to a dealer for a test drive. Well, thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.